Taxi riders in Brazil are getting on board a global trend of cab hailing apps. The country was among the first to introduce the technology and now traditional companies are scrambling to adapt. Paulo Cabral reports. Wagner Caetano is an experienced cabbie, 20 years behind the wheel. But two years ago, he added a new tool to his business, the smartphone. Now, more than half his day's fares come from the five cab hailing apps he subscribes to. They use geolocation technology to find passengers and drivers who are near each other, making it easy and fast to get a car. These apps have brought passengers and drivers together by eliminating intermediaries like cab companies, so no one wastes time. I have realized that with an app, I can only call a cab after I've left my apartment, because otherwise it may arrive before I can go down the elevator and reach the street. Easy Taxi is the first and largest operator of cab hailing apps in Brazil and is also among global pioneers of the market. It's now operating in 27 countries. It claims a base of 5 million customers and 120,000 cabs drivers worldwide. It was launched in April 2012 by young Brazilian internet entrepreneur Thales Gomes. Only a few months later, he received investment from German incubator Rocket Internet to fund an international expansion. We usually take like one dollar per ride, and we have today a couple of million rides um, a month. Uh, and we're talking about the business that have started, like the operation started in April 2012. So we have a lot of ground to, to, to go on. On top of that, we have the advertising business inside the cab and inside the application. Cab hailing applications have proven extremely successful, both with passengers and drivers. It seems clear traditional cab companies won't be able to compete with the telephones and radios they have been using for decades. So many, like this one, are already adapting to survive. After 26 years in the market, Shami Taxi can no longer ignore the drop-off in business and has decided to team up with other companies to create their own smartphone application. There's no argument. The app works much faster. The customer requests a car and in about 30 seconds it gets the confirmation that a car is on the way. So far, taxi drivers and their customers seem very happy with their apps. But developers know that their challenge now is to keep pace with trends without compromising the quality of their service. Paulo Cabral, CCTV, São Paulo.